What's going on? What do you do on Sunday nights? Probably the same thing I'm doing if you're a teacher. Grading, lesson planning, preparing for the week. But I tell you, man, this is like one of the only jobs where you have to take work home with you. You can't just leave your work at school and just come home and relax. You always have to do something at home. And I think uh, the best teachers have this practice where they take ho work home with them and do their a lot of their work at home. But then it, it creates a, a challenge of balancing personal life and work life. So uh, what do you do to balance your work and personal life? Like when you have to take work home with you, when you have to lesson plan from home, when you have to grade and input data from home, when you have to do IEPs from home because there's not enough hours in the day to do that. You have one prep, your lunch should be a non-working lunch, but many of us work during our lunch anyway. How, how do you balance all that? Maybe some of input that you have, you can share for others who are watching this video, could read, and also uh, gain insight and, and some tips from because I can use your help also. Uh, one of the things I'm not great at is data entry and data collection. I like everything digital. If I had my way, there would be no paper. All my students would do work on iPads and computers, but that's not a reality right now. And uh, so I have to, you know, read writing pieces, grade them according to the rubric, and then input the data. I also have to do IEPs, I have to lesson plan, and all of that I do from home. So what do you do to balance personal life and work life when you're not working from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m.? Write your comment down below. Share this video to any teachers you know that has a great practice that they can share to help other teachers out there. Because I need the help and I can probably benefit from it as well. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to click subscribe and share this video out. Click the bell notification so that it will notify you when I upload new videos. And um, let's do this teaching thing together. All right? Let me get back to this. All right. Thanks.